Hey everyone, I'm sure that you guys probably haven't heard enough that racism is bad, but after going on Twitter and watching the news and watching the riots and watching people be mad, I think, just maybe, racism might be a little bit bad. I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist! Are you sure about that, man? Is it really not enough? Is a random person that's not racist really a part of the problem? Like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is this? If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are delusional and you are part of the problem. Yeah, anyone that's not dedicating their life or portions of their day to fighting racism, I guess you're a part of the problem. Also, white people. Um, apparently if you're not using your white privilege, I guess you're a part of the problem. Um, unlucky. But, you know, Logan Paul here says you are, and I'm sure Logan Paul, you know, it took him 25 years to understand this, you know, that's quite a long time. But I'm sure that if he thinks you're a part of the problem, you probably are. I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy. Wasn't the police officer that killed that dude, as well as everyone that was like working with him on that day, weren't they all fucking arrested? So yeah, even before Logan Paul decided to enlighten us with racism is bad, uh, I think most people already agreed with him, but people keep saying that this is a really good speech. I mean, it took him 25 years to realize some of this shit, so it has to be, right? Police officers, politicians, policy makers. As Killer Mike said, Bully the politicians at the voting booth. Mm -hmm. Make your vo voice heard. Attend a protest. Speak up against injustice. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are fucking blind. Why? I wonder if he's going to tell us why. Fun fact, there's no answer to that. Unless you think that if you're not actively trying to fight random aspects about the world that you don't like, you're somehow a part of the problem. Okay, suck my fucking dick, dude. Hey, everyone that's not actively recycling, I guess you just want planet Earth to die, which I actually do, by the way. After watching enough of this stupid shit, I mean, don't get me wrong, let me have a fair spin at this shit, but after like 40 years, yeah, I'm down to restart start this shit. I honestly want to see the nukes before I die. Is that a crazy statement? I really don't give a shit. You are delusional and you are part of the problem. Knowing all this about America, its racially charged background, its inability to truly treat humans as equals even after 244 years since its inception. Who are these fucking morons that genuinely constantly cite the fact that America is 200 years old and there's still racism? Yeah, that's actually pretty normal, and 200 years old is not that old for a country. So yeah, I don't really understand why they always list that off like it's supposed to be shocking. It really isn't. There's racism everywhere on the planet. There always has been, and there always will be. Yeah, this is just a part of reality. Um, unless someone, I guess, develops some sort of machine that just like, you know, can read the minds of everyone on the planet so we can find out all the racist people and then we can zap them at the same time. Unless that happens, yeah, there's always going to be racism. Unlucky. And if if you're one of those people that think in 30 years we're going to be living in some sort of utopia snowland and there's not going to be random issues then just like there's random issues now i get it you're 10 years old i've been there too we must now work towards finding the solution yes yeah, someone build that machine i'm sure someone here is smart enough to build that machine that's the solution we're looking for racism bad build that machine dude and if you are an influencer or a celebrity friend of mine i hope you are using your platform to continue to spread the message of solidarity and unity I do not have all the answers, but I know we must now reverse engineer the system as a collective. We must open our eyes and realize that there is only one race, and that is the human race. Nah, there's definitely different races, and saying that isn't racist either. What a cool line, though. There's only one race, the human race. What a fucking sick line. Like, man, if we all just, you know, work together, we could, dude, think about all the cool things we could do. The world is definitely not more complicated than that. I mean, guys, get behind this energy. Racism bad. Why do you think I made this fucking video? And the hundreds of others who have been unjustly murdered in this country, we must evolve. What the fuck does that even mean? 
Like, I'm seriously so sick of seeing this stupid shit over and over again. Like, hey, we don't like racism, but also, if you don't hate racism, and you're not actively, like, going out of your way to fucking trying to silence the racists, then you're a part of the problem. No, you're fucking not. This is, like, fucking crazy. Like, under that logic, anyone that's not actively in the military hates their fucking country. Like, it honestly makes no sense, and it- <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I'm alone, but seriously, after the 10th random random YouTuber or random fucking person that makes music decides to, you know, be brave and really take a stance against racism. By the way, it's not brave at all. Ironically, it would be more brave to be racist right now than ever. Uh, it's, there's no bravery in being anti-racist. All the money is anti-racist. That is like the safest thing that you can do. But I really don't even care about that. It's just, dude, <laughs> It's so patronizing on so many levels when someone has to, like, bring up world events and sit there and try to pitch to you why you should be more angry than you really are. Like, is there any racist person out there that has genuinely seen this movement and, like, has completely retracted their stance? Do you think there's any racist that saw Logan Paul's video and decided, hey, I might be taking it a little bit too far? Because I don't think so. So what's the point of this video? Well... I mean, obviously, it's to remind you guys that racism is bad. Acknowledge and weaponize your privilege. I believe we're going to a protest today. You can bet your fucking ass I'll be in the front line. All right, I'm down to bet. Um, if he doesn't get arrested by the end of these protests, then I think it's safe to say, after all this speculation, that he is 100% a part of the problem. Um, I feel like that everyone can agree on this. So, Mr. Logan Paul, I really hope you get arrested, because if you don't, you're a fucking racist, dude. And racism is bad. <laughs> Oh, you are the most unfuckable person that ever lived, yeah.